Hi guys, thanks for joining me on the first episode of HD Reviews. I'm Tom from HD Look Group, and this here is the Polka Premium Detailing Organization System. Now this is only part of it. I've got a little bit, a couple more items uh, coming in the mail as well. Uh, but to start off the, the review, we're gonna start off with the, the three machine holder, the polishing and the co uh, compound bottle holders, foam cannon holder, and the big boy, the cart, uh, the detailing cart, which I believe this is the pro version of it. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so we'll start off with the smaller items that we have here today. We've got the bottle holder, the foam cannon holder, and as well as the machine holder. Now the common thing between all three of them is the metal gauge, which is nice. Uh, you know, it's, it's very durable. It's 16th inch uh, durable steel. Um, and it's been coated with a kind of a textured, black textured coating, uh, which, is, which is obviously nice to help protect it. Uh, we'll start off with the actual bottle holder here. So this is, I believe, the smaller version of the bottle holders. Uh, I believe they have two. Uh, this one here is the 40 centimeter, so that's uh, 15 and, let's say about 15 and 7 8 inch by three inches, three and five eighths. Um, this is the smaller one. The, the bigger one is double the size. Now you've got your mounting holes on the back here. It's just your standard mounting. And the spacing on the holes, we're looking at approximately 13 and a half inches. Now that's a little bit uh, especially in here, in here in North America, where generally studs are 16 inches on center. So my, my, my thinking here is, you know, at least try to grab uh, one stud with one of the holes and then you may have to use kind of a more robust anchor, uh, drywall anchor for the other hole. Uh, you know, if you've got full bottles, I believe this one here, let's see how many we can fit. All right, so it looks like we can fit four and we can actually fit two of the smaller ones here. So, so that's the capacity there. Now, I mean, if these bottles were full, you're looking at definitely a few pounds uh, uh, of weight there. So you wanna make sure that when you do mount these, uh, that you do mount these uh, brackets here that, 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 they are, that they are sturdily mounted, um, like I said, preferably into a, a stud if you can. Um, other than that, I mean, I really have nothing else to say other than, I mean, it's, it's a really good product. Uh, you've got the nice Polka Premium logo that's been, uh, has been carved out there as well. Uh, other than that, it's all one piece of metal and it's all been, uh, you know, bent, bent into shape, which is, which is nice. It really keeps things sturdy. Now the next item we have is the uh, foam cannon holder. Again, it's all bent, me bent metal, uh, 16th inch. It's got the nice logo that's been uh, cut out of it as well. You've got the two mounting holes there as well, which um, again, you're not probably not gonna, unless the foam cannon's full, you're probably not gonna need a whole lot of uh, strength behind those screws. But again, I would definitely recommend at least trying to hit one of them on a stud. Um, and simply the way that this works, We've got the PF 22.2, and that's all it is. So really handy. Uh, uh, I would probably hold it on with the gun as well. Um, see how that works maybe in, a, in another video when I do the, the, the review for the PF 22.2. But uh, other than that, again, it's a nice little thing. Uh, I'm horrible with storing these things either on their sides or trying to kind of throw them in a corner somewhere. So this is definitely gonna help me. I think it'll help out a lot of the, uh, you know, detailers, weekend warriors, whoever, whoever uses a foam cannon, which is pretty much everybody nowadays. But, uh, so that's the foam cannon holder. Now, thirdly, we've got the machine holder. Now I've ended up getting the three machine holder. Uh, actually this is, I shouldn't say it's three machines, it's actually five machines. There's mounting here for another two machines on the side, maybe a smaller, like a, I think it's a PXE 80 from Flex or the Nano uh, from Rupes. Uh, but you can hold three full-size machines on the front, maybe a, a, a small uh, three-inch machine, um, and then your, your five and a half or six and a half inch machines as well, your rotaries, all that can be hung in the front. You've got a compartment in the front here as well where you can tuck your cables in. And I'll grab a machine. All right, 
So I've got my Rupes. Now, when we hang it, I'll hold, have to hold it there. Now, when we hang it, uh, we want to make sure that you're actually hanging the machine from the neck of the actual uh, machine, not from, you know, the rubber kind of uh, protector that's that's right above the uh, the backing plate there. So we want to make sure you hold it like that. And in terms of the cord, very easily. Now, generally, you would roll it up, make it nice, but it'll just sit right up against right up against the wall, uh, sit in this little cubby here. Again, you've got the nice Polka Premium cut out here for the logo, uh, and you've also got the mounting holes on the back, as you can see here. Now, in terms of measurement, the overall width, we are looking at 21 and 7 eighths inches wi uh, wide. We are looking at about three and one eighth of an inch uh, deep. And height, we have just about 23 and three quarters of an inch tall. Now there are four mounting holes on the back. Again, this is gonna be carrying uh, quite a bit of weight with all your machines and you definitely don't want this thing to potentially fall down. Um, so again, let's see, let's check out what the, uh, the hole spacing is on the back. So we are looking at about 20 and three quarter inches or so separation from uh, the mounting holes. Again, I would recommend that you actually mount it at least one to a stud, one side to a stud, and then get some uh, heavy duty anchors uh, to mount the other side there. Uh, but aside from that, again, this is a great, great, great item to get. I think, I think if you're going to be looking for something for uh, organization, this should be definitely a first, uh, the first thing you should get, um, you know, if you're looking to go Polka Premium. Um, you, you know, it's, it, it doesn't hurt to have it. You can hang all your machines there, including some on the side here as well. Um, and it's a great little thing. Now, they've also included these little rubber kind of... Uh, gaskets or, or uh, you know bumpers here that uh, that'll help kind of protect the machine you don't get cut on the on the uh, on the edge of the metal uh, it also help keep the protecting uh, the protective coating from the metal from getting kind of chipped away from you kind of putting your machine on and off so yeah definitely a great little item to have in your arsenal uh, very easy to mount um, and I may do a video in the future where we actually mount this so I've got a little bit of wall space behind me so I plan to put kind of the whole Polka Premium uh, organization system on the wall behind me it'd be kind of a nice little backdrop but um, yeah so that there's the triple machine holder now they also do have the single machine the double machine and of course this is the biggest one I believe it's the biggest one that holds your three main machines and you can actually hold uh, two smaller machines on the side as well all right, so this is the Polka Premium Pro detailing cart. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's, it's pretty much got everything you need for a detailing cart uh, in terms of storage. Um, you've got areas for your machines as well, um, areas to hang your cords so you don't have to wrap it around the actual machine. I hope you don't. Um, and uh, it's got some brush holders, some bottle holders. Uh, as you can notice on the front, it's got some numbers that are cut out of it uh, to indicate maybe for coatings, uh, if you're using a two towel method, uh, your towel one, towel two, so you don't get them mixed up. Uh, it's also got a space here, which I'll show in, uh, shortly, is uh, an area where you can actually put your coating bottle so that when you do move the cart around, they don't kind of get jostled and, and potentially tip over and then spill. And I mean, if you've had that happen on some expensive coatings, it's, it's a real heartbreak. So um, anyway, so in terms of sizing here, uh, we're looking at, about 16 inches wide, or I'm sorry, 16 inches deep. Uh, we are 19 and three quarter inches wide, and height from the bottom of the wheels, uh, we are looking at 31 and five eighths. Uh, so it's not the biggest cart on the market, and to be honest, I don't think you really need anything bigger than this. Um, I think, I mean, we, you know, I use a, a, a big red cart that's almost twice the size of this, and 
you, you just the, the more things that you put on it is just going to get more cluttered and you're just going to end up throwing things on it uh, like I do now, which has got a whole bunch of junk and stuff on it. So I think this here will uh, help you kind of keep a little bit more organized. Um, there's not you know room on it where you, where you throw absolutely everything on. It's really all you need is just a few bottles of polish, uh, a few machines, you know your coating towels, your actual coating bottles, and then any extra towels or, or whatever maybe you can store in the in the bins um, below it as well. Uh, now, in terms of, let me turn it on its side here. It doesn't weigh a ton either, which is nice. Um, but uh, let me turn it on its side, and I really wanted to show you guys the wheels. So. Uh, one thing that I noticed on the carts that I've had before is two of the wheels swivel, two of the wheels are stationary. Um, for most people, that's not a big deal. Uh, for me, however, I love the idea that they're all four uh, are swiveling. Um, it really helps, especially maneuvering around a car. If you, I mean, if you've got tight spaces that you have to kind of move around, it really helps because you can actually, you know, kind of move it left and right without having it, get, you know, one end get caught on the car or whatever, maybe because the, the wheels don't swivel on that particular side. Uh, these wheels are, looks like they're two inch wheels. Um, and they're kind of, uh, looks like a composite kind of between uh, plastic and rubber mix. So uh, they're nice. I mean, I don't really think you need anything bigger than that, especially if you're going to be rolling around on, uh, on just concrete floors or like something like a Swiss tracks or a race deck floor. Uh, these do very well for it. Uh, solid bottom. Let's see what we can do. I'll show you the top. Now let me walk around the front here. So. Uh, and you can see here, you know, everything else, everything is fully coated. Everything is that 16th inch metal. Um, actually, I'm looking at it right now. It looks like the corners um, and these brackets and that are 16th inch. Um, these might be a little bit smaller, actually. I don't think they're, I don't think they're 32nd. They might be just a little bit smaller than 16th. Uh, but anyways, you can see at the, uh, the kind of the top view here, you got holders for up to four machines here. So you can hold your, let's say your rotary and your dual action here. And you can hold your uh, nano, you know, smaller machines um, on the side here as well. And now you can notice that uh, they've got the rubber, um, the, the rubber protection as well. Uh, here you've got your coating holders. Um, so you can put your bottles in there as well. That definitely, I mean, I've used it already, and uh, and it's definitely been a life well, a life saver. I mean, it's definitely been a material saver potentially. Sometimes you'll you'll hit something with with the cart, whether you're kind of trying to pull it around or whatever, or you hop over a cord, um, and you notice that your bottle will fall over, and sometimes it'll spill out. But uh, but that definitely keeps things stationary. Uh, you got a nice big area to keep all your bottles, your your, your cloths, and everything. Uh, and this is kind of neat as well. So you have on the top here. Um, You've got your brush holders, which are the little holes there. So you can just kind of thread your brushes in, uh, as well as you've got your bottle holders here. So you can just hang from the, uh, from the actual handles um, in that location there. Nice thing with this as well, uh, you can actually take this and move it down um, anywhere you want. Now, the nice thing with, with the, 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 the corners of these is because they're pre-drilled, you can actually adjust the height of the shelves and of the, um, of, the, of the holders here to wherever, whatever suitable for you. Um, in terms of the sides, so I'll show you the one side here. Uh, the, you've got your machine holders on one side as well um, and you've got your cable holders. Now I've, I think I've mounted this a little too high because when the machine sits here, if I show you, Now, if the machine sits here like this, as you can see, it gets in the way. So what I think I'm gonna do is actually move this uh, maybe down a little bit lower, maybe down to here, um, and then have my, my cable kind of curled up and hanging like this or something like that, or maybe, maybe do a little bit, little bit taller or something. Uh, but the main thing is obviously not to have the cable wrapped around the machine. Uh, if you're not using it or if you're kind of moving, moving to another edge of the car, uh, it's a good sturdy place where you can hold your machine. And again, you've got two of them on the one side here for the larger machines. Uh, if we look at the other side, 
you look at the other side, we've got uh, the two smaller ones for, again, your, your Nano or, your, or, F, or PXE80, um, and you've got your cold cord holders there as well, um, along with the Poker Premium logo. Um, and that's the cart there. I mean, uh, everything you need in terms of storage and, and places to put your machines and your cords, everything is there. Um, I don't think you're going to need anything bigger than this. Um, now, a couple of downsides I found is uh, the, the screws themselves, uh, they seem pretty nice, the screws and, and the nuts. Um, I kind of wish there was maybe a locking, uh, locking washer um, on, on the front side just because, you know, if you're going to be pulling this back and forth, back and forth, the jostling, it may come loose. I'm not sure yet. I haven't used it enough to, to kind of experience that yet. Um, the other thing is tools that come with it, it's your standard cheapy tools. I mean, it's just a, a standard kind of crescent wrench uh, for the nut side uh, and an Allen key for the, the bolt side. I mean, I would just toss them because they stripped after the first screw. So I ended up using my own, my own tools for that. Um, one other thing is, oh, when they actually package all these, not, not only with the, with the actual um, the cart, but with the, 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 the holders, the, the polish holders, and, and, and anything else that, that they come with, uh, that they, that they, that they uh, sell, they actually wrap, pre-wrap everything in, in uh, like, like a cellophane plastic. So it actually really, really helps with uh, shipping and getting nicks and things like that on, on, the, um, uh, on the black here. So, but uh, yeah, that's the deal detailing cart. Like All right, guys, that about does it for today's episode. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. It was our first one, uh, hopefully first of many. Um, again, today we did the Poker Premium, or only part of uh, the Poker Premium detailer organization system. Um, again, we've got the, the Pro detailing cart. Now, before I go further, uh, I searched it up, and the difference between the Pro and the non-Pro version uh, is this middle shelf here. So um, if it's not a you know, big need for you. I think it is, you know, especially, you know, maybe holding some extra pads or whatever, or some cloths. Um, I, I definitely jumped to the pro. Um, we also did the, uh, the, the foam cannon holder, the polish holder and the machine holder. Um, and the pricing for each of these is, uh, this is Canadian, $249.99 for the cart. Uh, $19.99 for the foam cannon holder, $34.99 for the polish holder, and $179.99 for the, the, the three machine holder. Um, and all of these we got from Waxit Auto Spa. Uh, I believe they're out in, in Quebec uh, here in Canada. So uh, if you guys are looking for Canadian uh, distributors or suppliers, uh, definitely contact them, uh, waxitautospa.com. Uh, create an account uh, and check out their products. Uh, I believe they carry pretty much the full line of, of, of Poker Premium. They're one of the distributors here in Canada. So I, I, again, I was really excited to, to get them. Um, all these products are made in Poland. Um, so um, me being Polish, I, I, I can really appreciate that. Um, you know, then you can see that the, the, the build quality on all of them is, is really nice from, from the metal that they use to the, to the type of coating to, you know, how, um, how durable it is, um, even to the little, little things, just like the, the Polka Premium uh, logos getting, uh, being cut into every one of the parts here. Uh, again, thanks again for joining us. Uh, I'm Tom, HD Look Group, and uh, hope to see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.